When I think of Chopin, I think of Poland. I think about his mazurkas, polonaises, nocturnes, variations, etudes, or piano concertos, full of beautiful melodies and singable lines. Chopin was born in Żelazowa Wola, Poland, in 1810. His first piano teacher, Wojciech Żywny, was also a violinist. Maybe from him he derived his strong sense of melody. Hello and welcome back to our music discoveries. I will surprise you, but today I will not talk to you about Chopin's famous piano compositions, about his mazurkas, etudes, nocturnes or piano concertos, but instead I will introduce you to Chopin's songs. But before I do that, I would like you to know that Chopin was a passionate opera lover. Growing up in Warsaw, that at that time was filled with culture, he had a chance to listen to many operas. He especially admired Mozart's Don Giovanni. After hearing this opera at the Warsaw Opera Theatre, at the age of 17, Chopin composes variations for piano and orchestra based on duet from Don Giovanni, La Ci Darem La Mama. Chopin was a passionate opera lover. He never attempted to write an opera. Perhaps he didn't feel good with big musical forms like opera. Many of his friends persuaded him to do that. One of his close friends, Stefan Witwicki, persuaded Chopin to write a Slavic opera. Here is an excerpt of Witwicki's impassionate letter to Chopin. I believe that a Slavic opera brought to life by a real talent, by a thinking and feeling composer, would shine like a new sun in the musical world. I have thought about this so many times, dear Frederick, I constantly rejoice in the expectation that you will be the first to be able to draw from the extensive treasury of Slavic melody. If you do not go down that road, you will be willingly renouncing the most beautiful laurels. So instead of opera, we have beautiful songs composed by Chopin. Chopin wrote his songs throughout his life. He wrote them casually, very often for his friends, or he just improvised them on the piano on different occasions, just to satisfy the social needs and friendship. It's important to know that he never performed his songs at his own formal concerts. He treated them as a marginal part of his work, as a caprice, they were, however, performed at salons gatherings by friends and very often by his sister, Ludwika, with great success. At that time, musicians, artists, and literary people gathered in salons. These gatherings were organized in private homes by the elite groups. Chopin was invited to salons gatherings by his admirers, very often women who took private lessons from him. Unfortunately, only 19 songs for voice and piano survived. There are references to a little more than a dozen lost. After his death, 
Julian Fontana gathered Chopin's songs in 1859 as Opus 74, and they quickly became very popular and widely translated. Who can resist this melody? You must heard it before, not even knowing that this is the first song composed by Chopin, Życzeń. interesting story about this song that says that a very famous soprano, Marcella Sembridge Kohańska, in 1902 wanted to popularize this song and she sang this particular song instead of the second aria in Rossini's Barber of Seville. Franz Liszt also made a piano transcriptions of six of Chopin's songs. His composition is known as Chant Polonais. flirtatious song that Chopin apparently improvised for his friends while leaving Poland in 1830. The title of the song is Hulanka or The Drinking Song. The song is also in mazurka style, a young man carrying away by temperament as he addresses a young girl. Bój się Boga spój, tam się śmiejesz, tu miudlejesz, prost na kaftan mój, tam się śmiejesz, tu miudlejesz, prost na kaftan mój. Nie daruję, wycałuję, jakie oczko wraz, Piersi białe, sąki małe, hej, spali mnie krew. Piersi białe, sąki małe, hej, spali mnie krew. Before I introduce you to more of Chopin's songs, I would like you to know that Chopin composed his songs to Polish poetry of his generation, except one, the Lithuanian song, the Piosen Kalitewska, that was translated from the folk Lithuanian song by Ludwig Osicki. This is a Lithuanian version of the tale of a lost current, a cheerful dialogue between mother and daughter. Wiolek zrosił się na głowę 
19 songs for voice and piano that survived. Half of them are written to poetry of his friend Stefan Witwicki. Gdzie lubi? Where she loves. Set to the flirtatious text of Stefan Witwicki. This flirtatious tune of a young girl who cannot decide whom to love brings us to another coquettish song, this time of a young, beautiful and handsome boy that she adores. Śliczny chłopiec, the handsome boy. Chłopiec, czego chcieć? Czarny wąsik bija płeć. Śliczny chłopiec, czego chcieć? Czarny wąsik bija płeć. Każde słówko, co powie, lgnie mi w sercu i w głowie. Śliczny chłopiec, czego chcieć? Czarny wąsik bija płeć. Śliczny chłopiec, czego chcieć? Czarny wąsik, biała płeć. The most charming and graceful song that cannot be omitted here is Moja Pieszczotka, My Sweetheart, written to the poetry of Adam Mickiewicz one of the greatest Polish poets of Romantic era. The ecstatic finer climax of the song says, I only want to kiss and kiss and kiss. Chopin's songs cannot be very easily categorized, but one can distinguish in them different characteristics or moods. I would divide them into two parts. The one we just listened to, 
texts, which are romantic, flirtatious, lyrical, gracious songs. And the other part would be the nostalgical, patriotic songs that expressed Chopin's longing for his country. Saying that, please listen to Smutna Rzeka. Another song, a ballad from folk tradition, Dvojaki Konietz, the double end, the saddest imaginal story of two lovers, a Cossack and a girl. <laughs> far away from his homeland. The title of the song is Dunka or Nima Czego Trzeba. There is no one to love. There is no one to sing to. Thank you. 
another sad, sort of like a ballad song, Narzeczony, the bridegroom. The very sad text tells us about a soldier returning from the war and finding her beloved on the deathbed. Czemuż nie wybierze, jakże, jakże wybiec może, kiedy probierze, jakże, jakże wybiec może, kiedy Chopin was a master of miniatures and salon music. He believed that the only way to make an art is to be in very intimate settings. In one of his letters, he writes, In a hall with people in the front row, ugly monsters breathing on you as if they're going to eat you alive. How can you possibly make art that way it's simply not done this comment reveals who he really is i hope by introducing you to a few of chopin's songs you will have a better understanding of his music and his personality they very much reflect his soul his patriotism and his longing for his beloved country so I encourage you to listen to all of Chopin's songs. They are an outstanding phenomena. Thank you for listening and I see you soon. Bye bye.